We all know that the brown bear is a very fierce animal. But the brown bear in the video is so close to the man. It is as gentle and docile as a puppy. Why did this happen? Instead of hurting the man, this brown bear behaves in a spoiled manner in front of him. Why could the man make a fierce animal behave so well? Is there any story between this brown bear and the man? Let's take a look at the following. The brown bear is known to be the world's largest surviving terrestrial carnivore. The bulging muscles on the back, shoulders, and back of the neck are some of the main features that distinguish it from other species of the bear family. With their sharp teeth and strong limbs, they can easily catch their prey and tear them apart. Therefore, the brown bear is a very dangerous and fierce animal. But, abroad, there is a man who spends his days in the company of this fierce animal. This brave man is Doug Thursday, a famous Hollywood animal trainer. Doug has been working with brown bears for decades training them to perform various moves for the screen. The strong brown bear in the video is one of the three star bears Doug has trained Bart. At first glance, the 1,240 pound brown bear interacting with Doug seems like it could easily tear him apart with its paws. And apparently it can do that. But, Bart will never do that to Doug. Because Bart loves Doug. Doug is its guardian for life. 1977 Their unique friendship began in 1977. Doug met a cute little bear cub at a zoo. But unfortunately, the cub's mother left this beautiful world shortly after giving birth due to illness. Leaving the cub alone. The zoo was also worried about this. The zoo was also considering the fate of the cub as it is difficult for a newborn bear to survive without the care of its mother. After learning of the zoo's idea, Doug immediately decided to take the bear away at his own expense. Firstly, he has many years of experience in caring for brown bears. He was confident that he will be able to take good care of it. And secondly, Doug wanted to fulfill his dream with this bear. Last, and the most important reason was that Doug had a wonderful feeling. At the first sight of the cub, it was as if he was destined to adopt this little bear cub. After some negotiation with the zoo, Doug managed to get the bear back to his home. He named it Bart. Bart, despite his small body, was a big eater. Doug had to feed Bart every two hours to prevent it from eating too much food at once. And Bart was smart. It seemed to know that Doug was doing this for its own good. So it never messed with Doug. And so, Doug spent every day with Bart the bear. A man and a bear who were always together, no matter what they did. Of course, while Doug took good care of Bart, he also trained him. During the training, he even made the bear fight with him and pretended to nibble on his jaw. It made onlookers be in a cold sweat of anxiety for them. But there is no denying that the trainer did show the audience that he has the talent and guts to handle the animals. And Bart is so hardworking that it is now no less successful than its owner Doug. It has now appeared in hundreds of films including Bears, Outdoors, The Legend of the Fall, Clan of the Cave Bear and El Marginal, and it even appeared backstage at the Oscars. In this way, Bart the Bear and Doug have been together for 37 years. Their bond is rock solid. Bart and Doug trust each other. They are as close as a real father and son. It's so enviable. In fact, it is not uncommon for humans to rescue animal cubs like this. The man in the following story also saved two lions by chance. 
and formed a special bond with them. The two young lions now embracing the man are Norm and Tom. The man saved their lives many years ago. A few years ago, when Norm and Tom were still very young, they were just born. Their body were soft and weak. Their mother was a very young female lion. This was her first time as a mother. The mother lion had no idea how to look after her two babies. She didn't even remember to feed them. The lion cubs were screaming with hunger. And their mother just left them on the side of the road and left. Luckily, as the man drove by a few days later, he heard the lion cubs barking. Puzzled, he stopped the car and started looking up the roadside. Finally, the man found poor Norm and Tom in a bush by the side of the road. Two lion cubs were clinging to each other, snuggling up to each other. The man looked at Norm and Tom, who were as thin as a thread paper, understood the difficult situation of the two lions. He rushed the lion cubs to a veterinary hospital for examination and first aid measures. After a series of tests, the vet told the man that the two lion cubs were only chronically malnourished. There was nothing else wrong with them. The man sighed with relief. The vet told the man that the lion cubs needed to be rested and conditioned slowly. They needed to be fed every two hours. He suggested that the man could take them back for a few days before making any other plans. The man took the vet's advice. He took the two adorable lion cubs back to his home to look after them. Looking after the two newborns was too much work. But the man didn't give up. He tried harder to look after them with care and attention. The lion cubs were also gradually rejuvenated by the man's care. They act like a spoiled child in front of the man every day. The man looked at the frisky lion cubs in front of him. He realized that it was time to find a place for them to go. After much deliberation, he chose a local animal sanctuary. After consulting with the sanctuary, the man was not willing but sent the cubs to the sanctuary. Because that was a better place for them to grow up. Many years later, the man returned to the same animal sanctuary by coincidence. He remembered Norm and Tom. And led by the staff, the man met up with the two lions again. Incredibly, the two lions still remember the man. The moment they saw the man, they instantly jumped on him and acted in pettish. They embraced the man affectionately. Like docile, well-behaved kittens occasionally whimpering, as if complaining that he hadn't come to see them for so long. The reunion was so touching. Animals can also develop deep trusting relationships with humans. Like the brown bear, lions and their benefactors in these two stories. If humans are friendly to them, they will be friendly to humans. We humans should not betray the trust of these animals. We should do what we can to protect them. Protect the environment in which they live. We also need to take real action for the protection of wildlife. Rather than just paying lip service. Only in this way can we truly contribute to the cause of wildlife conservation.